friends. <laughs> I am in an area where called well called Crestview, I guess. There's a, there's a beautiful lake up here and uh, sort of California mountains. It's a bit windy today, but it's a beautiful day, and I'm going to try to to do some photography here on the lake. of a hike from my friend's house down to the lake I guess uh, down some windy roads here but it's a beautiful walk and uh, you never know what shots I can see on the way there too I'm also I'm gonna challenge myself I'm gonna go on this steep <laughs> pathway here down to the water that's gonna cut the time to get down the water but it may be risky so let's see what happens here we go not so much fun with camera gear on your back but I've had worse actually this doesn't doesn't look too bad oh it's a very short path to the water from here so it's definitely worth the, the risk Crestline is uh, oh, there's a little beach. Uh, Crestline that's very close to Lake Arrowhead. For those who don't know where this is, uh, it's not as popular as Lake Arrowhead, I guess. But uh, it's uh, quite picturesque and uh, interesting. Always to shoot at water, as you know from my channel. I. <laughs> I'm always at some beach somewhere or other or in the Andes mountains looking for rivers and water I'm, I'm fascinated with, with water so okay this little clearing is a uh, it's, it's nothing special actually and there's a uh, and for my taste a little bit too populated but uh, you know uh, if you search you can always find a shot but but uh it's a little bit late in the afternoon it's like 3 30 so and it gets chilly pretty quick here so i'm gonna uh in lieu of searching for a composition i'm gonna go to another location and hopefully it gets a little easier to find something okay so let's go i think uh i think there's an alternate path here I don't know where it's going to take me, but it's picturesque nonetheless. Looks like a nice little path. I always like logs, sunken logs, you know, for photos can be very interesting, black and white. This morning, my friend that lives up here said there was lots of fog so fog and logs in the water <laughs> beautiful for compositions if somebody's out there riding a boat looks nice it's a bit hazy too hazy which is oh not my favorite situation to shoot in um, of course a little later in the afternoon it might get uh, might get better but all right, you know that's a, that's kind of a nice composition right there. Something something can be done with this, with the, with the trees kind of framing that. That could be nice. Let me, let me just give this a shot here. All right, I was going to shoot only with my seventy to two hundred, but uh, the path just doesn't doesn't allow this composition. I've got a boat coming right here. Oh, let's see if I can catch this. <laughs> Sorry about that. I think I got it. It should be a nice composition. That's the first composition 
of the day. And uh, well, yeah, let's keep on walking. This is very, very interesting so far. One nice composition, I think, out of nowhere, just by walking. And yeah, I always turn my, my cap around because obviously I have trouble shooting with this. The front of the cap hitting the camera all the time. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm starting to see compositions everywhere now. Oops, sorry. What about this? This is something interesting. You know, sometimes you have to get used to a place and used to the scenery to really start to see it. Once you come back to a place, you know, you got to get a much better eye for the things that you need to see. When I was in Brazil, I mean, the same thing happened. It was so over kind of overwhelmingly overwhelmingly beautiful everywhere you looked. You know, you start taking shots of everything and you just let it wash over you for a while and you'd be able to tell what's what's good and what's just whatever snapshots of touristy things but uh yeah that's why it's good to come back to places this is my second time here actually so i'm hoping that uh, yeah it's gonna be great <laughs> i don't know <laughs> We got some people up here. I'm gonna stop filming for a second. Okay, there's these these little paths here that go along the shore of the lake. I'm gonna take a chance on this one and see what happens. I mean, that's what I kind of love about this type of photography. You get out and you walk and you you're alone and you see beautiful things and you breathe fresh air and you're moving and you know that whole thing that meditative experience I think adds to the to the shots when you finally see something that really grabs you and you're in this this zone you know let's say the zone of photography this thing that takes you over you're just in the moment and it's a it's a beautiful thing as opposed to studio shots where it could be you know i mean that's cool as well i just did a studio shoot the other day and it was it's okay but i, I don't know i'm an action guy i need action you know <laughs> i like the whole travel part of photography and adventure i guess i'm an adventure guy i don't know <laughs> But uh, yeah, here, here's this this part of the lake. Now, shooting in the mountains is always kind of interesting because even though the sun is going to set over there, the light doesn't get to a good point until you know, unless it's a very special day. When the light, the sun goes behind the mountain, it's not really dark yet, but it's dark. It's just like the sun is covered up but it's still light it's hard to explain that's been my experience with mountain shoots as opposed to the beach where the sun is just right on the horizon of the earth and it's just much different the light is much different so uh i think i'm gonna keep walking in this direction here i actually i wanted to shoot with my uh 70 to 200 the whole time, but this, these pathways aren't permitting, you know, so it's just because distance wise I can't get the distance I want. So the 2470 is out in action. All right, let's see what's going on here. Some kind of a path here. I think this seems to be easier. These trees, unfortunately, have been cut down. This looks like an interesting tree that fell in the water, but no 
no composition that I can see exactly. I guess you have to just walk and see what happens. I was watching a video with Len Metcalf, one of my favorite landscape photographers. Oh, it's a bit windy, sorry. I was watching a video with uh, Len Metcalf, who's giving a talk on a channel called Landscape. Landscape, uh, I can't remember the whole name of it. Anyway, it's a great uh, channel on YouTube. And Len was talking about how he approached landscape photography. And a lot of, and he mentioned this one time where he was, a, I guess he was a student a long time ago. And one of his lessons was to just sit in the forest and do nothing, just observe for like two hours. <laughs> which is really, really important in my humble opinion because it's like your eye gets used to what's in front of you. It's just kind of the same thing I was mentioning before about coming back to a place. If you have the privilege of coming back to a place and getting to shoot, you know, two or three times, it probably yields much better results than just the first time all hurried and and you know, being overwhelmed by the beauty in front of you, once you kind of get used to it a little bit, you can find better compositions. That's what I think anyway. <laughs> no lake is complete unless it has some ducks in it, but these guys are probably not gonna let me get too close and I've got my 2470 mounted. Let's see. No, they're not going to let me get too close, so just have to film them. <laughs> not much of a composition there, anyway. Um, I'm going to continue walking. There's a section here where there's there's some people, I guess. Which is exactly what I don't want, but I can get to the other side of the lake. That's going to be a heck of a hike, and I don't know if I'm going to do that today. But I think I may have one composition at least that I'm happy with. So, that's a good, good thing for a day one here. <laughs> All right, so I've decided to cross over to the other side of the lake and take the path. So we'll see what's going on here at the path. I'm sure there's gonna be people walking by and people walking the dogs coming up here, trying to film them. Hello. So, it's a nice walk. Yeah, people are walking their dogs. I don't know why I get the feeling <laughs> that I'm not, not going to find like amazing compositions here. Now, when, you, when you've been around the world, you know, sorry, I don't want to sound like a snobby guy, but uh, 
when you've seen some of those most beautiful places on earth lago como in italy and you know in brazil whatever i mean it's it's kind of hard to come down off that high and take in a place that perhaps is not as picturesque still beautiful but not as as incredibly picturesque it's like it's a place like lago como you know so i think uh the issue is finding some compositions no matter what now you see those reeds i think that would look great like with some fog in black and white those you know sticking out of the water i don't know if you can see them but right now it's not going to cut it so there's <laughs> something <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk and shoot for you guys so you can enjoy this path with me here. Perhaps a little music, okay? Enjoy. <laughs> people sit here and have a nice talk and stare into the water not a very interesting beautiful but not a very interesting composition let's take this little path here perhaps perhaps there's something here
So I got a couple of shots that I'm kind of happy with. I'm not going to be able to tell until I see it on the computer and get used to it. But uh, it is pretty nice to just walk in peace in this beautiful silence and, uh, you know, do what we love to do. There's these little trails by the water, which are more dangerous, <laughs> I guess. Not a lot of fun if you fall in the water with all this camera gear, so you're kind of careful. And the thought of that is making me not want to go down that trail. <laughs> but it's got to be done, I think. Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay. All right. Whoa, great. All right. Unfortunately, people leave their trash where they shouldn't. That ruins a lot. But it's still very nice, very, very peaceful. Uh -oh. There's a dog walker up here. This would be great with a model right there. Nice super moody portrait right here would be nice. Yeah, I like it. I keep walking, I guess. <laughs> I hope there's not poison ivy here. <laughs> probably, there probably is, and I'm trying to avoid the plants as much as possible. <sighs> These formations, you know, I always have a fascination with logs coming out of the water like this. I don't know if you guys have ever seen, I think it was the deer hunter, where they're at that lake and there's like a a dead deer staring out from the depths of water. <laughs> I'm always afraid of finding that. <laughs> but uh, I don't think so. There's, I always have a fascination with these things sticking out of the water. I don't know why. There's some beautiful houses up there. Can you imagine living up there? Oh, what kind of bird is that? Beautiful. Majestic looking bird. Anyway, let's continue up the path. I'm gonna search for compositions. Searching for compositions. Every little opening is a chance to see something. Although, you know, it's not always, maybe it's good for like a touristy shot, but it's not like a great composition. So, you know, I'm always after something that's gonna be very interesting photographically you know that's not so easy there's that bird who just stopped i hope i'm not boring you guys with this nerd stuff but <laughs> i guess i'm a nerd <laughs> there he is you can't see him in among the plants too well so I'm just gonna continue here and we're coming back to the civilized area <laughs> there's that little park I wonder if these trees got cut on purpose or maybe they were sick I don't know or they just did it for tourists who knows but anyway that's the excursion here at the Crestline Lake I'm gonna be back tomorrow 
again and exploring another part of the lake to see if there's some more shots. So with that, I thank you very much for watching the video and uh, hope you liked some of the photos. All right, peace wherever you may be.